Okay. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the class. We are going to start and uh, we're going to check about the platform. We are in class 18 already. We will be finishing next uh, week. So we need to move on on that one. We need to do the exercise 3.5 uh, for tonight. And uh, we need to finish this by the next Thursday. And as usual, we're going to check the attendance. Let's see how it goes. Ana Claudia Gonzalez Velasquez. David Samuel Galdames Monterrosa. Present teacher. Good. Dora Elizabeth Flores Mendez. Present. Good. Teacher. Ana Claudia, present. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Uh, Fernando Ernesto Costa Morales. <laughs> Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Ileana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Jarvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Jose Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Present. Good. Jose Osmín Rivas Navas. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present. Good. Juan Miguel Bran Mejía. Present teacher. Good. Luis Albert Steve Bonilla Canales. Roxana Yvette Asensio de Mejía. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Good. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Ok. Uh, teacher Fernando Cosme, here. Ah, ok, perfect. Thank you. Fernando Gonzalez, here. Ok, very good. Thank you. Ok. So we are going to continue. Uh, yesterday we started talking about uh, the budgeting and some interesting things. The last thing that we were checking was about myths about budgeting and we checked uh, the first one. So we're going to continue with that one. Today we're gonna start with the second one. Oh, I see here, Juan Miguel is already here as well. Let me just check into that. Very good. So we're going to uh, continue with what we were checking yesterday. Here we go. Okay. So we're going to continue with the myths. So let's see. Fernando Ernesto Cosme, could you please help me reading this slide? Okay. Uh, I'm not good at math. Uh, Thanks to budgeting software, you don't have to be good at math. You simply have to be able to follow instru instructions. Many of these programs are free and legitimate. If you know how to use a spreadsheet software, you can make your own ledger. It's as simple as, as creating one column for your income, another column for your expenses, and then keeping a running tab on the difference between the two. Okay, so what do you get from this one? Uh, well, we had a lot of maybe software that you can use for maybe calculating the whatever you want. The most common or know it is uh, Excel, and you can use Excel or maybe if you if you use uh, Google you can use a spreadsheet or put it of Google. But it is, it's, it's almost the same. It's almost the same. And it, it, it is, it's, it's, you, you can use, you, you use, if you want, for example, calculate a lot of maybe formulas, uh, your, uh, take your control, your budgeting, you can use it. It's, it's, sim it's very simple. You can watch a uh, YouTube video <coughs> to, to learn. 
uh, for free. Uh, um, uh, and now we, we can use the, the AI using using ChatGPT include in a spreadsheet. So now it's easier than before, maybe. <laughs> That's yeah. it. Perfect. Thank you. Definitely. So yeah, I mean, uh, on this one, you just need to understand a little bit uh, what you want to do, what are your expenses, and there are many tools that you can use for that one. And you are right. So the artificial intelligence is so advanced. I was thinking, for example, that some guy, he created music with the voice of the weekend, another guy, and also Michael Jackson. I mean, and there is uh, like a tool that has voices of a lot of famous people. So you can create your own music with that voice. In my, that, that's crazy. So, uh, yeah, technology now, uh, it provides a lot of resources. And you just need to understand how to use that one. And that's it, right? So it's going to create the budget for you. Perfect. Let's move on then. Uh, let's check the next one. It's going to be for Fernando Marvin. Sorry, teacher. I'm having dinner right now. Okay, don't can worry. I, can I read? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Okay, perfect. So, Juan Miguel Brand. Okay, teacher. Okay. My job is secure. No one's job is truly safe. If you work for a corporation being laid off due to downsizing or, or a takeover, always is a possibility. If you work for a small company, it will die with its owner, be bought out, bought out or just fall. You should always be prepared for a job loss by having at least three months worth of living expenses in the bank. It's easier to accumulate this financial cushion if you know the amount you're bringing in and spending each month, which can be monitored with the budget. Okay, what do you get on this one? Uh, la, as we were talking uh, uh, yesterday, uh, no one is uh, is uh, we could say is safe nowadays. Yeah, uh, there are many situations that could uh, be or that could uh, push to a company to get out of the country or uh, like the elector says die with the with the owner or something like this yeah so it is it is important to to have or to be prepared uh, in order that you lost your job yeah at least they said a uh, three months yeah a uh, three months of your expenses yeah in the bank uh, i think nowadays uh, here in our country is very difficult only three months yeah because uh the opportunities are yeah there are opportunities yeah but all of us we are not so lucky yeah maybe so lucky maybe if you don't know someone inside the company, you don't know how to apply, maybe, or how how could be the best way in order to um yeah to to arrive no no not to arrive to to go to the company yeah uh, three months in in our country and taking in consideration our salaries is, is kind of difficult to save. Yeah, because as you uh, said yesterday, our country is so expensive. Yeah, uh, and the salaries are not, uh, are kind of unfair. Yeah, you do many things but you are paid for maybe only one thing that all of the all of the things that you do yeah so if 
obviously, if you have the opportunity to save some money, uh, at least you could uh, save uh, the 10% of your salary, yeah? Uh, at the end of the year, you could have one salary, uh, 1.2 salaries, yeah? So, if we are talking about that you have to, to save at least three months, you have to work or you must work at least 2.5 years. Yeah. But it's really difficult. Yeah. If you are not so organized with your money to, to take uh, the lesson or to take the lecture, in a reality, yeah, but if you are kind of organized, you obviously have to, or must have, or must, yeah, must have a budget. You could monitor with all the all of the apps that you can install in your in your life, in your cell phone, sorry, or in Excel or whatever kind of tool that you want, but it's um, it's important that you monitor or you track all of your expenses. Yeah, not only, okay, this is for fun, this is for whatever, this is for another thing, yeah. You have to be, um, or you have to realize, yeah, if the, if the expense is, reasonable or not yeah not only to register in the app or in your notebook or something like this to realize if this expense is really needed or not in order to analyze obviously to to waste your money or to save your money yeah uh one of the most uh talking about the waste of money, one of the, the, the things in what Salvadorans waste their money is fast food. Yeah. And uh, all of the apps like Pedidos Ya or Uber Eats or something like this, <laughs> they don't help us to save the money. Yeah, because in the time or before uh, these apps, you have to go away or to walk outside your home. But with all with all of these apps, the the diner or the lunch is served uh, almost at your at your home at your home. Yeah, but uh, talking uh, about the. This, this lecture, it's um, it's important that, and we have to realize that at least, at least if we could save the money, at least three months. But obviously, uh, some something that I say to people, okay, you you if you are uh, a people who is working, obviously try to do networking yeah with your colleagues with your friends with friends of your friends in order to expand the opportunities if you lost your job yeah so hey you know if if you know that there is an opportunity so uh, tell me please yeah but it's important to uh, realize that we have a uh, save money yeah in order to to be prepared for a loss job, for a job loss, yeah. Perfect, yeah, you are so right. I mean, this, I mean, for other countries might be easy. I, I, as yeah. I understand, almost everybody can save money. That's why they can travel or they can buy a big house and things like that. But in El Salvador, actually in Latin America, because almost all the countries in Latin America are kind wow. of the same, there are opportunities but are not for everybody. Uh, there are just a few positions in companies that are going to be very, very nice. And sad part is that 
sometimes the people that are in those positions are not the ones who know better things, right? It's just because, as you say, uh, they had a friend there or anything like that. So it's difficult. So you need to try, but also be realistic. So uh, yeah, you are not going to um, avoid eating something or, I mean, the good thing is what you say is to to identify what you don't need. I mean, for example, one of the things that people do the most here is to to buy a lot of soda. I mean, you, they people, they really like soda here in El Salvador and that is not healthy, not good for you. Even if you're thirsty, it's not going to be good for you. But that's the way it is. I mean, people, they believe that it's, it's a good thing. Uh, they, I, I, I sometimes have been speaking with people that they say, I don't have money, I don't know what to do and whatever, but let's go and buy cigarettes and soda, right? So, and I say, oh my goodness, so. Or beers. Or beers, yeah, so that's not a first necessity. That is when you have extra money and then you can go, but if you really have some problems with money, you need to, to do something about it. They are chopaholic. Yeah, we are. So because yeah, I believe that sometimes, for example, myself, I don't buy soda, I don't buy anything like that. But sometimes I, I don't know, you have seen that I have a lot of shares of rock. I made mean, they are very cheap, but I spend some money on that one, and I don't need that. that. So everybody, maybe we do some certain things that it shouldn't be that way, and we could save money. So that happens a lot. But then if you I mean, if we actually do a budget and we realize how much money you're spending on something, then you realize. So this is a very good tool for us to to check in that one because what it says there is true. I mean, maybe you have a good job right now, but maybe in the future you are not going to. Uh, yes. So that, and, and right now we're in a crisis, in a worldwide crisis. We never know. Yeah, maybe we can get another job uh, but we uh, we don't know where exactly if we're going to earn the same amount of money. Many things can happen. So uh, we need to be ready. So good, very good, perfect. So let's go to the next. Unemployment insurance will tie me over. Ha, huh, okay. So. Okay, okay, okay go ahead. Uh, we are not able to hear you right now. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Unemployment insurance will tie me over. Unemployment compensation is not a sure thing. Let's say it's a bad situation at work leave. You will no choice but to quit your job. Unless you can prove constructive discharge, that is, you are virtually forced to resign. Your departure will be considered vol voluntary, making you ineligible for unemployment insurance. Besides, the benefit may fall way short of the wage you are used to. For most states, the average between uh, 300 and 500 per week. Hey, what do you get from this one? I think that is a, it's a, it's a really good mission for, for a crisis. But sadly, in, in, in our country, that's not a play. At least, I, I don't know about that. Uh, because I, I, I don't have knowledge about, uh, about insurance for, for, un, for unemployment. But I, I, I heard about it, but it's, it's not a common, a common measure in the, in the companies, but uh, that thing that it's not applied for for all the company or it's not allowed in our country, not mean that we can we can save money for for the future because uh, the situation is is bad sometimes. And you can get a crisis and and you can lose your job or you are quit for your job. So you need to I know uh, an option or or a little or a little 
I don't know how, how to say fondo, but fondo it's money. Funds, uh -huh. Funds, okay. You need a little fund and uh, why you get any yacht. So it's it's a good measure and, and I think that uh will should should be at least allowed that obligate all the companies implement that that measure. Yeah. So that's it. Very good, perfect. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, yeah, in the United States, in other countries, yes, whenever you are not working, uh, there is like an insurance that you, uh, as long as you prove that you are looking for a job, uh, the government pays you here in El Salvador now, right? So if you lose your job, goodbye, you you can't. Uh, yes, uh, at least right now, I mean, if, if they uh, fire you, uh, in some cases, not all the cases, you can get um like a paycheck on that one right uh, or uh, if you have more than two years you can go to the ministry uh, create a letter and then you will get some money not all the money but some money for you to keep but is is that going to last three months uh, yeah i believe it's probably not going to happen so um it's not a solution right yeah. definitely how, it doesn't hmm? how can i say Pasivo laboral. Um, I guess in English it's kind of unemployment uh, rate or something like that. Unemployment rate. Uh huh. Ah, okay. Yeah, that's you mean, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, uh, yeah, it would be some like that. It's it's difficult. I mean, I I guess that's why when we see that people are getting fired. Even if you know that you are very old in the company and many things, I mean, you don't feel very well, right? And even if you're not happy with your job, it's not a good thing that you lost your job. So that is something that we need to consider, definitely. But the, I, I have a comment about that. Mm -hmm. When it exists an insurance like that or... or... I know there's insurance, uh, the companies that offer insurance always try to try to found try to find a, a reason for, for not pay the insurance. So in talking about uh, fire of the job, uh, some companies apply that I don't know, one reason that imply they don't pay to you your employment rate only you're fired, right? <laughs> yeah, well, to be honest with you, I, I don't know if it, that exists, uh, if there is a, an insurance for unemployment. What I know is that if you have a loan uh, in a bank and uh, you get fired, yes, you have that for three months. So it's going to cover like three months of your uh, loan, but it's just for the loan that you have. Only uh, three payments, let's say. Other than that, as I understand, we don't have anything like that because uh, as we know, the crisis here in El Salvador has always been like that. I mean, everybody can lose their job in at, at any at any moment, and that is something that has happened always, all the time. Uh, companies they do that one, uh, or you'll quit your job. So, um, probably for the insurance companies, it's not a good business to have an insurance like that. Uh, I never mm -hmm. heard about something like that. Yeah, uh, I mean, I mean, really, I mean that teacher. Uh, by the way, I, I know some people that lost their job two or three months ago because the company uh, were closed. And so they are unemployment, right? They, they, they are unemployment and they have a loan in the bank. And the bank doesn't want to pay the, the, the... I don't know if they pay a month because they lost their job but i i know that they have a a kind of insurance in the loan that they can wait uh, three or four months why the, that people get any job but uh, the bank i know i know i i know that these people no i meet right i meet these people and the bank doesn't believe believe them then so they don't believe that these people lost the 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 job. 
So yeah, it's, that is true. Yeah. It's difficult. They, it's a difficult situation. They, sorry. They, they, the bank or the financial institution, they don't pay your your uh, they don't pay your payments. Yeah. They just hold for not to um, um to pay you the, the money to no cobrar. I don't know. Uh, yeah, to receive or to give the money. They they just hold you at least for three months. Yeah. And if you but um I know some cases that uh, they have to to give to the bank a letter. Uh, that says that you are fired, yeah, or the company closed and you are not a, uh, all uh, you are not an employee and an employee for the company, yeah. But if you quit, you cannot you cannot do that, yeah. Mm -hmm. Only only if you get a uh, fire from the from the place, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. As you say, uh, insurance company, financial institution, they always try to find something for not to pay, right? Uh, that happens, for example, when you have an accident in a the car. Uh, they, I mean, if you really read the the clauses on the insurance, it says that if you drank a beer or if you don't wear your seatbelt or if you are, if you did something wrong, whenever that the accident happened, I mean, they they can't pay. So, yeah, we need to be careful about that because we believe that just by paying uh, the quote, the I mean the the payment on that one, uh, you are safe. But it's not true, right? So, yeah, we need to be kind of careful about that. Good, perfect, interesting. Everything that we are discussing. Let's check for the next one. I don't want to deprive myself. Well, it's something that we discussed already. So let's check. Jose Wilfredo. Okay. I don't want to deprive myself. Budgeting is not synonymous with spending as little money as possible or making yourself feel guilty about every porridge. The um of budgeting, budgeting is to make sure you're able to save a little each month. Ideally, at least 10% of your income, or at the very least, to make sure that you aren't spending more than you earn, unless you're a very high budget to should be able to buy baseball tickets and go out to the to it. Tracking your expenses does not change the amount of money you have available to spend every month. It just tells you where that money is going. Good. What do you get from that? <clears throat> Maybe uh, they explain that you don't have to the prime if you don't spend all your money that you obtain uh, for your uh, job or maybe the nail for the salary. Um, you need to save at least of them ten percent of your income uh, in every month. Maybe not is all for your salary. If not, maybe you get uh, money from other uh job that maybe you do in your month or, or something. Um, you don't uh. You don't have to be guilty that you exp that you expend uh, your your salary, uh, and also, uh, maybe some somewhere or some or sometimes you can spend uh, uh, for one uh, hobby or something like that, like. Uh, buying a baseball ticket. Well, in this case, maybe you can buy a ticket for a movie theater, uh, or also a other thing that maybe you like. Okay, so definitely, mm -hmm. 
Uh, yeah, it's like a balance, right? It's not that you are not going to spend any money and and that you are going to save everything. Just pay the the uh, the power or the water or, or the basics. But it's not that you are going to spend all your money. The idea is that you check, that you reflect what are your expenses, and then you decide. I mean, yeah, I want to go out once a week, for example. I cannot go out every day. I cannot buy food every day. So that is that is the idea that you can save some money and invest money in other things and, and take some money for the future. So yeah, that's right. So it's like a make well, if you have a tight budget, maybe you don't have to to spend a lot of money. That is the idea, right? So yeah, if you have or, or imagine that you want to buy something like a car or anything like that, then yeah, you really need to sacrifice yourself and, and do something, right? So that is the idea. Very good, perfect. Thank you. So uh, the next one says, I don't want anything big. That is for um, David. Okay. If you don't have any major savings goals, upsides in your living situation, starting your business, etc. It's hard to drum up the motivation to stage away the extra cash each month. However, your situation and your attitudes likely will change over time. Let's say you and your partner live in your city in a small one bedroom apartment and things are going fine for the both of you until your family dynamic change. For instance, you may have a child or an in-law who comes to stay with you indefinitely, which means you probably need and want more room to accommodate the new addition. If you don't say that for anything big, you may not be able to afford this change in your living situation later on down the road. Okay, so what do you get from this? Okay, there is some kind of, uh, I don't know, conformance, uh, some kind of uh, accommodation to the situation we are living in. And uh, we don't see uh, bigger. I, we are talking, uh, I don't know, some days ago about uh, Pollo Bonanza. Uh, they try delivery, but the delivery service uh, uh, was overwhelmed and uh, broke up. They can do it. They can do it. And they simply left behind. They didn't try and another again. If the, if the people want for you, they need to come to our store in the, in the town and buy it. And, uh, they stay. They, uh, with the same situation, like about 20 or more years. And they are not thinking, uh, maybe they have uh, some modifications in the restaurant, but that's all. And uh, in our personal life, we need to think more and more. I, I work with the students and the students, uh, sometimes are, are happy because they get the, the seven that they need to pass. So, the 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 period. And, uh, you need to think in university. You need to think if you, if you want a scholarship, you need to have grades from eight to, or more. And uh, uh, even in in El Salvador, in uh, the universities of El Salvador or uh, abroad, they are going to study abroad. They they need to have better grades. Uh, but they are happy for uh, seven and uh, don't want more. Uh, it's enough, enough. It's, and uh, in many ways, in many ways, uh, we as a teacher, if I stay with the methods of five or six years ago, uh, we need to see in ahead. We need to be prepared. The, the world is changing so fast. And we don't know. We need to know the techniques. We need to know all of the IE, so of the inter intelligent, artificial intelligence, because the student know about that. 
And uh, we need to be prepared for that things, for technology, for for all of the things that are appearing in the in the education field or in the technology that are in the uh, the all of the students have access to. And if we don't know nothing, we are lost. We are lost, and the students are uh, more informed than us. And it, it was a, a, a crisis for us. And we need to think more and more. Uh, we clearly see organizations or companies that grow up in order that stay the same for many, many years. We need to think in advance. We need to see in the future. We need to, to put a vision five, 10 years uh, in advance to, to grow up to get the expectation from that time. It, 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 I, I was talking with a, with a guy that worked for a, a university in Amsterdam. He came to El Salvador and, and to give uh, some uh, mentorship or to, to the uh, uh, institution in El Salvador, to the superior education of university education in El Salvador. They, they are trying to to imitate the, the Europe uh, principles. And, and uh, he says, uh, the, the program that is uh, currently used in the, the University of Amsterdam, what Hello. I think he lost the connection, teacher. Yeah, I guess the internet connection is not that good sometimes. Um, yeah, that is happening, right? So, uh, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, we lost him. Okay. So, yeah, what uh, he's saying is, is true. I mean, sometimes uh, there are people, I believe not all the people, but there are people that they say, I'm fine like that one. I mean, I don't want a car, I don't want a house, I don't want anything, right? Uh, so, yeah, I mean, that's fine, but you don't have to spend all your money. If you don't want to buy a house, that's fine. It's, it's your decision, but you can keep some money in case uh, an emergency arrives. So definitely this is something that might happen, right? So we need to be ready about this kind of situation. Number seven, I won't qualify for student financial aid. This is not for us, but we're going to practice and read. Um, Dora Elizabeth. I won't qualify for a student financial aid. 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 Yes. The cash 20, the cash 2 2. For a student or a student financial aid is just the more money you have, the less aid you'll be eligible for. That's now to make any more wonder if it isn't better you just spending it all and have no saving in order to qualify for the maximum amount of grants and loans. But that catch mainly applies to earner income. Whether you are an adult student going to back to school or the parent of a student hired to college, that's free application for federal student aid, FAFSA for use for Stanford loans, Perkins loans, or Pell grants, does not require you to report the value for your primary residence if you own a home or the value for your retirement account. Hey, what do you get on this? It's referring a uh, when a student uh, applies apply for uh, apply. Help, apply for help, financial help and universities. Uh, uh, but see the 
one student no 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 is a um, no no can no can apply it at this at this help uh, the student maybe maybe apply a other a other organization for help for for uh, for your studies in an, at university. Okay. So yes, I, I mean, this is not for us there in the US, this happens. I mean, lots of people, they want to go to college or universities and they don't have the money. I mean, if you have a kid, most likely you need to start saving money for the university when they are a baby, right? So, uh, but if that is uh, not the case, uh, the government on some institutions, they can uh, give you a loan, but you need to pay back that one. So um, yeah, it's, it's something that we need to consider so we need to budget about these kind of things all right next one is going to be for roxanne so if you want to save the money without compromising your financial i i support a hey. Hey, thank you. Okay. Eligibility, you can you can do uh, you can do so by using your savings to buy house, to pay your mortgage, or contribute more money to your retirement account. The savings you put into these assets can still be accessible if you face an emergency, but you won't be penalized for it. Even if you if you employ all the available data strategies to maximize your financial aid eligibility, you still won't always qualify for as much aid as you need. So it's not a bad idea to have your own source of funds to make up for any shortfall. Okay, so this is like the second part of the other one. So what do you get from this? I understand that when they are talking about the retirement account, it's, it's like a a right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So yeah, it's like financial help that you can get for many things. That, that is like, for example, when you want to buy a house in Salvador, right? I guess nobody has eighty thousand dollars to buy a house, so you need to go and look for a loan. And then you start paying for that one. And someday, if God wants, then you are going to own your house. Uh, but it's something similar. I mean, universities there in uh, the U.S., is, they are very expensive, very, very expensive. And you pay for the tuition uh, in the whole thing. I mean, you don't, you don't pay uh, for every month. You pay the amount of money, and that's it, right? So... Um, that's why it's, it's a it's a big deal. So it's not that you are going to pay every month, and if you don't finish, you don't continue paying. You just pay for the whole tuition, and that's it. Okay, very good. Next one. Ah, this is a short one. I'm debt free. Good for you. Huh. Yeah, I believe in El Salvador. One way or another, we have some debts, right? But. Being debt free without any savings won't pay your bills in an emergency. Uh, zero balance can quickly become a negative balance if you don't have a safety net. Yeah, it's maybe in, uh -huh. maybe in 20 years. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I, I was going to say uh, it's easy to say, but I mean, houses, as we were saying before, right? 
um, it's almost impossible to get a house if you don't get a loan. So uh, yeah, you are going to have that loan for 15, 20 years. Maybe after that amount of time, maybe then you are at least not going to pay for the house, but then you have to pay for many other things, right? So saving money is difficult. Here in El Salvador and in all Latin America, is is difficult but uh if we create a budget we might might see that it's possible i mean depending on your needs i mean it's not the same a family with three kids that if you live alone then you have more chances to do something else but in the future also i mean that is the payback uh, all those three kids that you have they might look for you look after you so they can help you if you have a, a need an emergency but if you are alone, nobody's going to look after you. So there are pros and cons in everything, right? And you need to be accountable on this. Okay, number nine says, I always get a raise or tax refund. Oh, I don't have a tax refund. I never have. I always have to pay at least $300. Yusel, could you please help me reading this? Not possible. Let's check then with... Yeah, I'm here, teacher. Sorry. <laughs> okay. okay, go ahead. Okay, number nine. I always get a raise or tax refund. It's never a good idea to count on unpredictable sources of income. This may be the year your company may not have enough money to give you a raise or as much of raise as you'd hope for. The same is true of bonus money. Tax refunds are more reliable, but this depends in part of how good you are at calculating your own tax liability. Some people know how to figure how much they'll get in a refund or how much they will owe, as well as how to adjust this figure through changes in payroll withholding throughout the year. However, changes in tax deduction, I or S regulations or other life events can mean a nasty surprise on your tax return. Good. What do you get from this? Mm. That I always get a raise or tax refund. Well, that the, in this case, uh, the same. The same as you, teacher. I never, I never had a tax refund. Just when I work with, um, how do you say? Yeah, like professional services. Mm -hmm. They they just took the 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 ten percent of your salary, and they at the next year you have that refund of your taxes. Uh, in this case, teacher, it's very important. Like the second paragraph said. Uh, to how you calculate your taxes. And I know that everybody maybe, or most of them, my classmates know that when you 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 do the, the um, how do you say the, um, this, th this thing that we have to do in on, 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 on April, the- The rent calculation. Uh, yeah, yeah during calculation sometimes you can uh, put some some expenses like the scholarship expenses or health expenses that you have mm -hmm. and that reduce the the amount of money that maybe you have to to pay or in the best scenario you maybe at the end of the of the of the day you can you can have a tax refund Sometimes not too much, just one, two dollars, but you can avoid that part of, of pay, maybe taxes. And so it's very important to to have um yeah, to calculate how money you you are going to pay or how money you are going to 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 have at the end of the oh well when when the when the the time is come to mm -hmm. to get the refund. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, definitely. That is very important. In the U.S., I mean, that is a lot of money. A lot of money that you have to pay or a lot of money that you get back. Uh, here in El Salvador, it's not that much, but I mean, since um, this is most likely not part of the budget, it's, it's really painful, right? When you see, and you are right, I mean, even if you enter uh, the $800 that you have by law uh, for uh, scholar uh, expenses or Uh, the medicine expenses, uh, even though, I mean, I entered that one and I have to pay $300. If I, I didn't enter that one, it's going to be a lot of money. So uh, I guess nowadays, most of the people know that you can enter those there in the system and actually you don't have to do any other thing. I mean, uh, the uh, ease uh, calculation is already there and you just need to move on, right? So it's not going to be big deal. Uh, in the past was very, very difficult. And uh, uh, yeah, if you also, another thing that you can do is if you go to a church, um, they have to present that you you uh, made some donations and that definitely is going to help you with this one. It's going to be deductible. So there are things, there are things that you can do. If you donate to any nonprofit organization also, they have the, they have the obligation to report that one. And then uh, that way, uh, you will be benefited for that one. So that is something very, very, very important. Uh, problem is that most of the churches, they don't do that one. But uh, that is because we don't have the, the knowledge on what we need to do. So if you go to a church, you have the, the right to ask for them to, to present that to the the taxes i mean that is a donation and it's part of your money and definitely is going to help you on that good uh, next one i just don't have the discipline yeah probably this is more salvadorian <laughs> so marcus okay i just don't have the discipline you're still not convinced that budgeting is for you here's a way To protect yourself from your own spending habits. Set up an automatic transfer from your checking account to a saving account. You won't you won't see a, a, a different bank. It's just to, to happen right after you get paid. If you're saving for retirement, you may have to see the option of contributing a set amount of regularly to 401 or other retirement saving plans. This way you can pay yourself first. Have enough money for the transfer and pay yourself the same predetermined amount that you know because you need your saving for. Okay, what do you get from this? Okay, um, if we don't have the good habit or the good practice to save money, Uh, maybe we can like arrange an automatic uh, discount from our main account, main account to transfer that money to a uh, saving account. Uh, because maybe we can say, ah, I'm gonna save that amount of money, but with some extraordinary uh, ways of money, maybe we cannot achieve that goal. So uh, it's important to like arrange this automatic uh, transfer of, mo of money the day right after uh, when we get paid. Because if we let that automatic uh, transfer like one week or two weeks, maybe we cannot have the money, the enough money to make that, that request. So uh, in that way, we can save money. Uh, if we don't have the, the good habit or this thing. And if we are saving for our retirement, uh, maybe we can like apply to a, a plan uh, in order to achieve that goal because in the retirement we need a huge amount of money to pay because uh, it's supposed that we don't work anymore. So the income uh, will not that big. So it's important to save a, a, a big amount of money to, for the retirement. 
Very good, perfect. So yeah, retirement is very interesting. I believe that, I mean, sometimes we are not able to save for a trip and we definitely don't think about retirement. Problem is when you are getting to the 50s, right? So you have to start thinking about that one. Uh, at least at that age, you need to start saving some money uh, because, I mean, uh, whenever you are retired, the money that you are going to get from the government is going to be so little. And uh, maybe the good thing is that you can continue working, but depending on your condition, depending on many things, maybe that is not a good idea, or maybe you won't be able to work in certain things. I mean, many things can happen. We never know, right? Uh, so yeah, this is something that we need to think about it because um, it doesn't matter if you have family. Yeah, you need to look for yourself. I mean, you need to to be ready for that time. Uh, even if you are still working and you still, I mean, you are able to receive the money from the retirement, uh, then yes, you need to to consider this thing because it's very important. Good. Eleven, uh, William Alexander. Not possible. Anna Claudia. Okay. It's a luxury when I barely have enough for the essentials. Sometimes budgeting just isn't a priority because you may have too many other things on your plate. But there are certain government programs that can help you manage your household expense. For instance, the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, SNAP, helps recipes of all income levels work with their food budgets to make their benefits go further. Hey, what do you get from this? Wow, it's, I didn't know that a program exists or that assistance for U.S. residents, right? Yeah, <laughs> no problem. Okay, <laughs> okay. But, but uh, yeah, here in this country, the less we learn as a citizens or nobody takes the time, I don't know if it's because of the knowledge or is because we are in, I don't know how to say this, consumista? Consumers. Huh? huh? Consumers. Consumer, oh, well, consumer people consumer mind mm -hmm. uh, we don't think on saving uh, uh, two topics uh, before of this or two two slides or three i guess uh, uh i was just reminding when we've been studying the uh different generations i don't remember generation the the generation previous to x generation but what I remember, or what I see, is that they got the custom to save for any future circumstance. We, X generation is like, yeah, kind of, we, we say, but not too much because we are, I don't know if it's correct to say, absorbed mm -hmm. <laughs> for this bubble, <laughs> consumer bubble. And now with the boom of the social media, it's difficult to say no because all the ones that they studied to make you spend more of what you have on incomes, they do a lot of strategies and professional strategies. strategies. And now with the algorithms, it, you are classified be, uh, uh, depending on your age. Uh, and that is what you see every every things you open your computer or your tablet or, or mobile phone. And what in this case, I think it's important with this 1.1, uh, it's important to take advantage of certain programs you may have. I'm just thinking that here in, in El Salvador, I've just seen Banco Central de Reserva that they have like a Zoom courses or Zoom meetings. They invite people. And I've been in some of them, but you know, the sadness is that uh, they launch publicity, etc. 
And when you are in those uh, Zoom uh, meetings, we are like around 14, 15 people, about 6 million citizens we live here. Oh my God, they teach you how to identify uh, your, in Spanish, they use the term count. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't remember how to say it in English. Aunt. Ah, okay. Uh, they help you to identify also, or, or help you to, they give you or guide you how to make a budget, uh, to identify which are your primary expenses, etc. So there are resources, but majority of us, we don't take advantage of those. Uh, so in this case, maybe in, in US is uh, popular to know and, and people understand that there are some support programs they can go and run and look for them. I, I don't know if uh, I'm mistaken, but this is kind of a system like, for example, when people need help because of their uh, obesity, it's something like that because they look at these type of problems like uh, like uh, illness, something like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But, yeah. but it, we are it, it, now the, the the consumers we are is is amazing. It's difficult to handle. Yeah, it's true. I mean, uh, yeah, this uh, new world is much more expensive. I mean, in the past we didn't have to think about buying a a cell phone, or not mm -hmm. even a nice cell phone. Paying for the service of a cell phone uh -huh. <laughs> that is now a primary. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, you cannot have. I mean, it's impossible, right? And you have to buy a nice cell phone with a nice camera and internet connection. I mean, all those expenses we uh, the the world didn't know those before. Mm -hmm. And uh, another thing is what you say. I mean, uh, sadly here in El Salvador, we don't have programs to help. Even the ones that we pay for, like is sometimes it's not good, right? Sometimes you go and they give you a set of and that's it. And uh, it's not good, but in other countries, it's good. I mean, what you say about obesity, I, I, I was reading, for example, that in Sweden, uh, if you go to a clinic and they say that you are an alcoholic, I mean, somebody mm -hmm. that is addicted to the alcohol, uh, they tell you, don't go out. We are going to send you as part of your medicine, a bottle to your mm -hmm. house. Drink, wow. don't bother anybody. So here, I mean, wow. not possible, right? Mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, anyways, we need to do what we have to. So we live here. We're happy people, but we need to work very hard as well. So, mm -hmm. and it's a lot to uh, like the topic says right there. Yes, to count with those programs whenever you find it. Uh, we need to uh, juice them like a lemon. <laughs> yeah, <that is> and <laughs> so get the best from them. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Whenever you have the chance, or for example, some companies, right? For in my company, for example, we have uh, insurance, health insurance. So I pay. Uh, for example, if if I go to a specialist doctor, that most likely the uh, the payment is going to be sixty, seventy dollars. I just pay six dollars. So whenever I'm sick, I go there, and that's it. So yeah, uh, I got it too. Yes, I think we need to. We, we need to take advantage and we need to know which programs we have available for us, not only through the company, also through maybe the local uh, local governments, let's say it in that way, because now I know, for example, you can learn how to cook different things. Of course, it, it's not an easy way because you need to go there, uh, present some forms, uh, make a line sometimes, makes calls, waiting time, etc. But once you get it, it's okay. Yeah, definitely. So there, there are many things. I mean, for example, these classes of uh, Insaforb, they are very, very good. And it's a luxury for us. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. I was about to say that this is a luxury. Yeah, it's very good because it's a program. I mean, I get paid for that one. The company gets paid for that one. Mm -hmm. Insaforb, I mean, with the funds of the taxes, they are doing this. And you take advantage of that one. Exactly. Uh, 
sad part is that some people they get into the class but they they quit or they are in class and never participate so that is up to everybody uh, but yeah. we need to take advantage of these problems right because exactly. just imagine all of us here including you is not easy well for all all the ones involved uh, administrators of this room etc invest to in our case two hours every day but in your case more than that because you're preparing the classes but also at the end you wait to upload the videos check the uh, so you just don't work the two hours we are in you work more than that and uh, it, it's not it's not easy it's uh, sometimes uh, as a joke I say my brain needs to rest but but it's true all of us we have been working uh, being stressed in our job and, and suddenly we are being adding more stress, but because we know this is worth it is something that is going to launch us to get better better uh, options in the Definitely. near future yeah and in this related uh, with something that somebody said at the beginning we need to also make a budget on time i mean mm -hmm. it's difficult it's difficult because we all work and we're tired Sometimes uh, the family is there and we don't have time for them. Many things happen. I mean, our friends, sometimes they say, let's go to a party on Friday. And we say, no, no it's impossible. No. <laughs> <laughs> Thinking and sleeping. And one topic or two topics before when Liana was reading about the tax uh, income, unexpected income. Wow, you just don't imagine how you enjoy to have those <laughs> unexpected income. I ca Every year I try to to uh, donate to mm -hmm. specific institution and, and the system works because uh, always, uh, every year I get uh, tax refunds. Ah, okay, very good. That is very nice because, mm -hmm. uh, well, most of the churches are the ones that they don't do that one, but a lot of institutions, they actually do. So if you are able to do that one, you help instead of paying the government the taxes, you can help other people, right? So that mm -hmm. is a very good thing. And uh, yeah, you, you can see that sometimes we can, this is very interesting because we're speaking about budgeting, but at the end we speak about a, a lot of things because we are learning. Life. <laughs> it, yeah. All our life goes around budgeting because if we are deep uh, digging in that, in that, just imagine that one can be stay in peace, uh, uh, the mindful, Mm -mm. So it's a, it's all around budgeting, and sometimes, unfortunately, we learn how to do this after a battle, after a brand, uh, that word, brand, putsi, brand, brand, putsi, uh -huh. and uh, we need we learn in that way, which is not not the best way to learn, but that is how it is, and we need to take advantage of it. That is so true, very true. So. Yeah, it's, it's very interesting. I mean, uh, how everything we are learning, we are learning from each other. So it's a very good thing. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Thank you. So the next one says, well, that is like the conclusion for this part. Uh, let's see. Um, Francisco Eduardo, could you please help us reading this? It is true. In, in general, traditional bakering start with tracking expenses. Eliminating in debt, and once the budget is balanced, building an emergency fund, but to speed up the process, you could start by building a partial emergency fund. This emergency fund acts as a buffer at the rest of the baggage. It's put in place and should replace the use of credit card for emergency situations. Continue, Tisha. Yes, please. Okay. The key is to build the phone on regular intervals. Consistently, the voting and certain percentage of each paycheck toward it. And it's possible putting in whatever you can spare on top. This will get you to think about your spending too. Very good. Perfect. So what do you uh, get from this? <clears throat> it's very important to uh, have an uh, emergency, emergency fund 
uh, in this case, uh, the situation uh, uh, is uh, the parent say is is much better uh, when uh, you have emergency. Use the emergency phone uh, instead a uh, a credit card because uh, is if uh, for example if uh, you don't have the money for pay this uh, this amount of, of money uh, in one time uh, uh, you uh, how do you say genera interest teacher? Uh, gain uh, yeah gain interest yeah gain interest okay then and for for me is 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 very is better uh, that you have a uh, emergency fund instead uh, use a, a credit card and then the, the problem is uh, in for uh, this uh, uh, education, edu uh, um, how do you say, um, education financiers, uh, education, uh, financial, education. financial education. Uh, yeah, very good. Right, financial education. Uh, I feel uh, that uh, area in the, in, the, in the person is very difficult. <laughs> yeah. Very difficult to, to to learn to uh, put in practice, but uh, it's very important. It's very important. Okay, so definitely. So at the end, because of many reasons, uh, budgeting is important. Uh, this is something that we really need to start doing. If we don't do it, uh, and start thinking about that one, right? So next one says downside and substitute. That is going to be. For let's see, Jarvin Isaac. Not possible. So we're going to check. All right, we're going to start again. Let's see, uh, Fernando Marvin. <clears throat> Downside and substitute. Now that you had a buffer between you and high interest debt, it is time to start the process of downsizing. The more space you can create between your expenses and your income, the more income you will have to pay down debt and invest. This can be a process of substitution as, some, as much as elimination. For, for example, cancel any recurring subscription that you don't regu regularly use or need. Use half of the money you say to invest or pay off outstanding debt and say the other half to begin building a home gym in your basement. Okay, so what do you get from this? Uh, I guess it's when I talk uh, from my experience. Some years ago, I, I did my budgeting. So in in, in that moment, I I I was not aware, awareness or aware teacher. Aware. Aware. Yeah, I, I was not aware that I have, uh, I had some expenses that like subscription that you don't regularly use or need. <laughs> so in that moment I discovered that the, the, the utility of, the, of a budgeting. So nowadays I have my, my budgeting every, uh, Two weeks, or I don't remember how to say quincena. Uh, king, king, nature. I don't remember. Weekly? You can say bi weekly, yeah. Bi weekly? Yeah. Like one week? Uh, bi, like two. Bi weekly. Uh, bi weekly. Oh, okay, bi weekly. So mm -hmm. it's a new word for me. Yeah, I had a budgeting uh, bi weekly because I, I have my, my salary. By week, by weekly. So when I had to, to my, my um uh, in a payday, you know, in my payday, I only feel the the different, the different 
uh, expenses that I have in the budgeting, and I know that uh, all the all the expenses that that I I had to do in in that in that time, and in the other at the end of the month is 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 the same. So I have a budgeting different from 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 the other because I have other expenses. You know, some some expenses are at the end of the month, but I had I had uh, my budgeting uh, very structured with the with the the pass of the time. I, I have some some techniques so for for the use that the best form to the best form to repair my my salary and the different expenses. So uh, even I have a a little fund for for emergency because uh, in I don't know when but a couple years ago I get a a plan in my bank account because they offered me and I and I took it for for say a little you know ten dollars or twenty twenty dollars by by month and since since then i have the 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 habit to to do it so the that um benefit of that um i don't know how to say characteristic that characteristic that the bank affirmed me, it's it's over but i maintain that in my budgeting and i have a special account in my in my bank application for for say that money, yeah, it's a it's a little fun, but it's very useful when I had an emergency. So, uh, by my experience, I I can I can say that have a budgeting is very very important in, in the family because uh, my wife have a budgeting um, together together a day. So we had an, an a document on Google. Google spreadsheet, so mm -hmm. we share that document, and both of both of us uh, fill the the budgeting at the end of the month or or the middle of the month with the expenses. You know, we had control all the expenses. Okay, so yeah, definitely control. That is a very important word. It's a powerful one. So because yeah, we want to do a lot of things, but sometimes we need to go slow. Uh, yeah, you are able to. To achieve many things, but uh, you need to control everything that you are having. So it's a very interesting thing, your experience. Very, very good. Next one is for Jora Elizabeth. Although elimination expenses entirely is the faster, faster way to solidify the budget. Substitution tends to have more lasting effect. So consider shopping with friends and family so you can split the cuts, especially if you buy in a bulk. Carpooling or taking public transportation is another great way to cut down of your transportation costs. People often cut to keep an end after making budget that they can't be keep because it feel like they are they are giving up everything. Substitution in constant keeps the basic while going down cost. Okay, what do you get from this one? Uh, um, this parable is about the uh, how to uh, building a budget uh, elimination some expensive or make uh, funds uh, make other funds to save uh, money uh, they have a, as a example uh, use a public transport transport and you know you use the car is oh uh, buy a, a 
in many quantities is no in just only one one stuff is our way to save money okay so yeah there are things that we can do i mean carpooling or taking public transportation if you even if you have a car i mean uh, if you are uh, if you are living near a bus stop, for example, and it's very easy for you to get public transportation, that is a very good idea. Uh, even worse, I mean, here, uh, sometimes, I mean, we in some roads, uh, we have now the government uh, buses that are for free, right? So that is a very good advantage. Um, I know that it's not that comfort. I know many things. So, uh, for example, if it's raining, definitely you can take out the car. The problem is that we uh, really want to use things and have things so sometimes that happens right but this is a very good thing that we can take advantage of um let's move on the next one says find new sources of income that is something i mean uh, for you to have money for you to save some money there are only two ways first one is to uh, decrease the expenses right and the second one is to increase the income so there are no other ways. That is the only one. So uh, Roxana is going to read this one. Find new source of income. Why isn't this uh, the first step? If you simply increase your income without a budget, you handle the extra cash properly, the gains to try to slip through the, the car, the crash, Trust and vanish. Once you have your budget in a place and have more more money coming in that going out along with uh, the buffer of an emergency fund, you can start investing to create more income. It is better to have no debt, no debt before you begin investing. If you are young, however, the rewards of investing in higher risk, high return vehicles like strong stocks can outweigh most low interesting debt over more time. Debt over time. Okay, what do you well, get? The First uh, idea um, about the, the that paragraph is say that um, why is not the first step increase your your income? It's not the first step because if you uh, have more money, you will spend more. So the first step is create a budget and identify uh, your expenses or your um, cost and about that you can uh, you can create a better distribution about your, your cash but the problem is uh, for example when you change uh, your job position or when you change your company maybe you you change it because uh, you, you would receive a uh, a better a salary or better benefits. That the thing is that if you don't create a budget about your your uh, expenses or your cost, your costo fijos, ¿cómo sería? I'm sorry. Costos fijos. I don't. I can't listen to you. I'm sorry. Costos fijos. Pizza scalp. Sorry. Pizza cost. Fixed cost, costos fijos. Ah, uh, fixed costs. Fixed, okay, thank you. Uh, if you if you don't uh, have uh, the correct um, name about your expenses of your fixed um, costs. Fixed yeah? costs. Fixed fixed costs. Uh, you 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 will create a budget um a problem in the future because you don't have any control about your your uh, money. 
So before you uh, receive the extra money, if you are looking for that, you need to create a budget and try to invest in maybe in a, in a, in a bank or other type of investing, but you need to, to try to save money for the future. But if you always uh, spend with a, with a budget, you don't have the control about what are your, your real costs. Okay, very good, perfect. So you are so right. Um, if you have more incomes, but you don't have a budget, you are going to spend more money. I mean, there are people that they have $3,000 every month and they say, oh, I don't have enough money. And you say, how is that possible? Probably the same happens for us. I mean, uh, maybe we earn $1,500 a month and there are people that only have uh, their base salary and they say, why you don't have enough money? I mean, and then you realize, I mean, how can people live with $360 a month, right? I mean, if they can do that one, why I can't? Uh, so yeah, definitely budgeting is one of the most important things. Uh, as uh, yesterday, there was a slide that it actually says that one. Even if you have a lot of money, you need to budget, you need to invest money, you need to, to manage everything in control, okay? Uh, and uh, uh, you can manage uh, the fixed, uh, cost definitely, and you can be ready for the ones that are changing every month. Very good. It's raining here. Uh, is it raining over there in your places? Yes. Okay. In my it's, time, it's, yeah. it's it's starting right now here. Oh, he's starting as well. So, and I was checking in the group of uh, of the teachers uh, that in some parts there is no power. So. Uh, or no internet. You know, the first rains are always like that one because they cause a lot of damage. All right. Uh, how to build a complete budget, David? Okay. This is Okay. How to build a complete budget? Now you know the steps it takes to build a budget. You need to know how to build it. We've online the basic of how to craft a comprehensive budget below. Some of the information is here has already been discussed, but it helps to reiterate it. Calculate your total monthly income. This includes any ways, salaries, tips, benefits, and any other money that you get on a regular monthly basis. Okay, yeah, this is something we discussed before. So, but in your own words, what do you think? Okay, the, the first thing is how I have, how I can have at the end of the month or in the period that I have paid, it, it, for that is the, the starting point. I, I can start from something that I don't have. I need to start with uh, I have. And uh, uh, in this kind of thing, we need to be very realistic because uh, sometimes we are, when we want something, we are. Uh, uh, optimistic and uh, if I do that and I do the other thing and I can buy the new phone <laughs> and uh, <it's>, uh, <laughs> you like to yourself you, you need to be realistic you need to uh, 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 you what, what you have or what will you have at the end of the month uh, the, that is the starting point if you start with that and uh, you can uh, calculate what uh, you can do with the money you have and what you need to do to get some some uh, extra things I, I, I want it. But uh, we need to see in every way before and be sure that uh, 
I can do it. Because it, many times when uh, there is a, a championship about something, uh, we want a, a, a better TV or we want a surround sound and we want something like that to, to live the moment better. But we need to see what we have. Definitely. Yeah, you need to be realistic. And you are so true, you know. Uh, yeah, uh, we lie to ourselves. When we have a dilemma, for example, uh, and we ask to other people, we know the answer. We know what we have to do, but sometimes we don't want. Uh, and we need other people to say, no, you have to do this because it's the correct thing to do, right? So <laughs> that happens a lot. So, uh, yeah, if you have a, a dilemma, sometimes, yeah, you already know the answer, but you don't want to go that way so very good so uh and that is also we checked that already but we can also read about that one jose osmin could you please have me reading this yes teacher okay. determine and determine right or, or determine 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 your normal monthly expenses some of uh, these are predictably pre Predictable. predictable, which makes them easier to work, especially if they don't change every month. Think of the mortgage or rent, utility payments, transportation cost, and other similar expenses. So may uh, fluctuate each month, like your food or clothing cost. In these cases, it's always a good idea to to year on side education and budget a little higher. Be sure to include your debt as well, such as land and credit card payment. Plan, plan of any extras, including spending money in case you want to dinner out, order takeout, see a movie, or do any other activity. Mm, note down any amount you will set aside saving if that's in your plan. Okay, so what did you uh, understand on this one? What are your thoughts? Uh, let me check here. So it's like like we have to like make a list like with uh with everything that we have spent. Or like with everything that we buy it, like in this case that there is saying that the transportation, right? That we, we had to include the all cost, knowing that we can have like a, a monthly outcomes. So to be prepared, right, for some of those things that we have to do. Okay. So that is true. I mean, uh the first the most basic is that one to to know about the incomes and to know about the expenses and don't forget about anything. Uh, and then just do the math. Uh, the problem comes when you are actually doing something more complex and you need to forecast what is going to happen. So mm -hmm. definitely that is more difficult. But by now we're just saying in general, in general that one. So, Teacher, I have a doubt, sorry. Yeah. What is denout? Uh, what is, which word, what is it? Dine out or dine out. If uh, for the second slide, like in case you want to dine out, order takeout. I uh, just can see it. Uh, it's in the first part, in the first paragraph. Uh, uh no, the second. Uh, plan for any extras in that one. Uh huh. Yeah, that one. Uh, so in case you want to dine out. Uh, dine out is dine. like, uh, go out for dinner. So, for example, when you say to your girlfriend, oh. I'm going to take you tomorrow to Buffalo Wings and we're going to have a lot of wins. So that is it, right? So oh, Okay, got it, got it. That's good to know. Thanks. It's a pleasure. Okay. So next one is going to be for uh, Dora Elizabeth. Now that you have these theories, calculate your playing and write it, write it out. A buyer doesn't and can't go it, go if you don't put it, put it regularly. 
If you see it, you'll have more incited, incited to stick to it. You may have to do some jungles, especially in the initial few months. This means adjusting here and there so you stay within your planet budget. But once you test this hardly, it should be fairly problem free going forward. Okay, what do you get on this one? Um, in this case, after the read paragraph before, uh, now I can uh, I can I can do a buy it. Uh, uh, maybe in the initial to initial months is for difficult, but uh, in uh, when the pass uh, the times pass is a uh, are using a a, a budget and is is more easy playing in the budget. I understand that. Okay, very good. So yes. Um... You don't have to have that in your mind, right? Because you might forget many things. Mm -hmm. So you need to write it down. You have to that, have that in a spreadsheet or anything. And uh, yeah, at the beginning might be difficult because you might be overwhelmed about expenses. You might say, oh my goodness, I didn't know that was happening. So but, uh, if you are able to adjust, it's going to be working properly. Stick into a budget. Nice. Giselle. Not possible. Okay, let's check then. Let me see here. Juan Miguel Brand. I'm here, teacher. Sorry, I'm just washing my face. Ah, okay. I'm okay. my makeup. Sorry. <laughs> right, no worries. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, but I'm here. Okay. Okay, um, sticking to a budget. Now you understand to, to that word finer, finer. Finer, yeah. Finer. Now you understand to finer points of budgeting. You've accomplished all of the above. Even putting together a nice spreadsheet then lays, then lays out your budget for the next 15 years. 15 years. The only problem is that sticking to that budget isn't as easy as you thought. That credit card still calls your name, yes, every day. <laughs> <laughs> your clothes category seems awfully small and you feel the, the deprived? Deprived, yeah. Deprived. Budgets, you decide, are not fun. The good new, news is you don't have to throw it all, throw it all out of the window just because you've messed up once or twice. Okay, what do you get from this one? I completely agree with this teacher. It's very, sometimes very hard sticking to, to a budget because sometimes we have expenses that we don't plan. For example, in my case, I had a problem with my card the last, uh, the last week and I don't have, trust me, I, I never think or that never, never, that's through my mind that 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 I have that 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 thing, and I have a budget. I try to to stick to, to my budget, but sometimes, yeah, uh, the plastic money, like like society said, it's very easy to just say, um, oh, I'm hungry. The credit card, maybe, uh, through the through the the apps of delivery, for example, or with friends. It's very easy to to spend money that are not truly mine. And at the end, at the end, at the end of the month, it's like, oh my God, I spent all of this, all, all this money and maybe I, I didn't feel that I spent that quantity of money. So it's, it's hard, yes, but it's not impossible sticking to a budget. Yeah, I definitely. think that the, maybe the, 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 
the most important thing is is to try, you know, to try. If you never try, you never accomplish that goal of, of sticking to, to your budget every month. Yeah, definitely. We need to give it a shot. And yes, yeah, sometimes there are things that happen. So like the one on your car, sometimes I believe that with the car has happened to everybody. I mean, we have plans or we don't have money because we just spend some money and then the car fails or something happens. Oh, and you say, my goodness, I have to, to spend money on this one. It's necessary and we need to. So that has happened. And yeah, there are things. I mean, sometimes you get sick. Sometimes uh, something is broken and you need to buy. I mean, in my if the refrigerator gets broken, yeah, you cannot live without a refrigerator. So you need to go and buy a new one. So, but the important thing is that one. So yeah, you can fail once or twice, but if you continue, then you will be able to achieve your goals. Good. The next one is for Juan Miguel Brand. Not possible. Let's check then. Fernando Ernesto Cosme. Okay. Uh, remember the big picture. The point of the budget is to keep you, you out of overwhelming debt and help you build a financial future that will give you more freedom, not less. So think about how you want your future to be and remember that keeping to your budget will help you to get there. Adding to your debt load and the other hand will mean that your future could be even higher. Okay, what do you get from this one? Uh, well, maybe uh, I think all is is about the the financial education that we have. Uh, if you want to to have a a big future that the the powerful set, uh, it's very important to to uh, uh, Put your efforts and maybe build a, a good uh, budget. Maybe there couldn't be a, a a specific budget with a, a lot of step. Maybe it's uh, you you can you you can start with the with the basic. Uh, uh, avoid to maybe spend more money than your your income. Uh, maybe a note in a notebook your your expenses. And uh, that is that will be that will you will uh, give you a more more control about your your expenses and uh, maybe uh, that the the paragraph uh, the for paragraph paragraph uh, uh, that take your control of your maybe the the more important uh, thing that you you have to. You had to buy or maybe avoid spend your money in, in in necessary things, and that's it. So that is it, right? Yeah. Uh, whenever you feel that is um, is difficult, just remember what you are doing this one because you have a goal, and you have to be ready for bad times that might come. Crisis is coming, uh, so we need to be ready. And also, I mean. Uh, if that doesn't happen, you will have some money for you to get a trip or buy something. So that is a very important part. So good. Next one says remove the options that allow you to cheat on your budget. So yeah, that happens a lot. Uh, Marcus. Okay. Uh, remove the option that allow you to cheat on your budget. Make it more difficult for yourself to make Use purchases. In other words, set up barriers so you have time to talk and think. Is this purchase necessary? Tell yourself off retailer and email list. Remove your store payment information on your favorite online shop so you can just click to order. Okay, what do you get on that? Uh, okay, the, I, I understand that.
Okay. Um, we have to um, have good practices in this case. Uh, for example, one of them it could be remove the like uh, save my credit card option or just purchase like automatically. Uh, so we can have the time or we can click by ourselves and we can think about if we really need that purchase. So uh, all this effort is to think in our budget and not spend uh, the money that maybe we don't have or maybe we are saving. So the matter here is uh, do I really need this this purchase? Uh, so we can we need to like avoid the tricks that lead us to shop just for like an impulse. Thing. So it's important to to avoid these tricky things. So I understand that. Very good, perfect. So definitely. So this is related uh, to something that um, David say, right? So we lie to ourselves. So you see something and you say, my goodness, those shoes are amazing and only $200 and I work very hard and I deserve the best. Yeah, <laughs> so it's true. It's true, but you need to, uh, as the previous slide said, uh, think about the big picture, right? So... Uh, probably what I do sometimes is that if the price is a very good deal and I really see th that this is something that I really need and uh, it's something I really like, probably I can go and buy it. But other than that, it's like, even I, if I really want, uh, not, right? Because And it's hard and it's very hard because you need to convince yourself, right? You need to go back to, you, to those little things. But that is a very important. Try to have a filter in your mind do i need this am i going to wear it am i going to i mean what else can i do with this money that i i will spend on this so something like that uh let me see what time is it yeah we have time for one more find some support uh anna claudia okay find some support if you feel like you're the only one in your group who is on a budget, search and find some like minded folk. Uh, it could be an online forum, a monthly meeting, or even just a couple of friends traveling the same budgetary road. You need to know you're not the only person setting same financial limits for yourself. You can also have accountability with your frugal bodies the talking things over and each other out of temptation. Mm. Okay, what do you get from this? <laughs> uh, it's important to have a, people who walk in your same feeling or your same, same financial limit, like it, it, it says right there. Because if you have around you people that is a consumer, or people that is always thinking in uh, going out and eat outside, not cooking themselves, and also not taking care of their their self or their health or or their budget, uh, you will be involved at the end of the same um, culture. And e e even though maybe if you don't think it in some point, you will fall to do or to spend money in some unnecessary things the way how they do it. Mm -hmm. Just because the influence of your friends. So for that reason, he recommend that the support, the influence that you may have will be people or may be people that is in your same uh, thinking level. Okay, so that is so true. I mean, uh, I, I have seen that that happens a lot here in San Salvador that I mean, uh, going out with friends is very, very popular, very, very good, um, but it's very expensive, right? Sometimes you go to a restaurant on Friday, you go out to a party on uh, Saturday. For example, this year, a lot of 
artists are coming, right? A lot of concerts are happening. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, uh, sometimes it's a, a one-time thing. Yeah, you can go to two or three concerts, but not to 10 concerts in the year. So. No, I won't pay to, uh, even though if I like that artist or that singer, or I don't know, uh, I feel okay if someone uh, repost or share on their social media part of that. <laughs> I'm not yeah. going to spend two hundred dollars to just enjoy being there for a couple of hours. In that case, I prefer to save that and going out and travel. <laughs> yeah. So uh, as I was telling you, I mean, you need to you need to think about that one, and you are very right. Sometimes people that are around you, I mean, if they are that kind of people that they like to go and eat food and things like that one, that is fine. Yeah but not every weekend, not every day, right? So once and, and all this psychology, popular psychology, yes, your, it, life is just warm, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> yeah, uh, even, I mean, <laughs> the social media is like that right now. You only uh, do it once. Uh, and uh, also, uh, I guess the fashion right now is to show a lot of fancy things or uh, that you're beautiful or things like that one. Uh, and at the end, that is not true. I mean, sometimes I have met people from the TV or influencers, and they are not big deal. I mean, and mm -hmm. at the end, that is just uh, something that is not real. I mean, it's 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 just a show, right? So uh, mm -hmm. it's it's not important. But yeah, I mean, I believe that uh, the new generations are more into that one to go out and to do things. That's why the most of the people they don't want to have kids or family or get married. Because they prefer to go party and things like that one. So, mm -hmm. yeah, hey, that is fine. But uh, you also have to think about your future. And, and Exactly. There must be limits. Exactly. So a balance is what we Balance. Uh -huh. Very good. Perfect. So um, just remember also that uh, next week will be our last week for the English classes. Let's move on with the platform. Remember that. We need to finish the whole thing by Thursday. That will be the final day. Just in case you have questions or something's going on, we will have Friday. So, but Thursday is going to be the last day for us to finish the whole thing. Remember that we will have also the, um, the two units that are missing. That is this one, the third one, and also the fourth one. And the final test that also has four parts. So that will be it. And also remember that you might be receiving this week uh, the uh, the survey for the teacher, the one that is not for Insofop. So you can do that one, okay? You can evaluate myself. Uh, and the next week, you will be receiving the Insofop uh, survey that is going to be done as usual in our last day of class. So just remember that one. And if you have questions, of course, you can chat with me directly or in the group, and it will be a pleasure to help you out. By Friday, uh, the two or three words and the story, a nice story, something that you saw in a movie or that you read in a book or that you, uh, something that touched you and that you say, oh my goodness, this is very good. I learned something from this. That's what we're going to share with the class. And... Uh, before we finish, do you have any questions? No, teacher. No, teacher, no questions. Good. Clear as our chat as usual. So let's check the attendance. Ana Claudia Gonzalez Velasquez. Yes, teacher. Good. David Samuel Galdames Monterrosa. Present, teacher. Good. Dora Elizabeth Flores Mendez. Present. Good. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Good. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present. Good. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present. Good. Ileana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Jarvin Isaac Guevara Present. Miranda. Present. Okay. Sorry. I'm here. Yeah. No problem. Uh, Jarvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Jose Marcos Rodriguez Ayala. Present. Good. Jose Osmin Rivas Navas. Present, teacher. Good. 
O sea, Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. Good. Juan Miguel Brand Mejía. Luis Albert Steve Bonilla Canales. Roxana Yvette Asensio de Mejía. Okay. Good. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Good. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present. Good. Okay, my friends, the one one of today is going to be for Luis Albert. Steve? Oh, he's not here. Okay. And, well, see you tomorrow. Have a good night. Rest very well and dream in English. Thank you. Good night, everybody. Thank you. Good night. Good night, everyone. Good night, everybody. Hello, uh, do you have any question? May I help you with anything?